Jacqueline, I'm pretty sure that if we get some strong enough storms, <laughs> that thunder is going to sound like beating on drums, yeah. which is not always the best situation. Right. You know, especially when kids are in the pool this weekend, you mm -hmm. want to make sure that they're listening for thunder so they know to get out of the pool for at least 30 minutes. After thunder roars, get, get indoors. indoors. Exactly. <laughs> you definitely want to get out of the water. I think a lot of folks are going to be in the water over the next couple of hours. We've got some warm temperatures out there and things are dry to start. Here's a look at rain clouds. It's a pretty calm start to our afternoon where we've got some of those downpours moving into the mountains though, so they are not far away here over the next couple of hours. We'll start to see some of those showers and storms. Now some of those storms could be severe today. We've got a marginal threat for severe weather. That's a one out of five on the severe weather scale, and this indicates to us that we're likely to see some damaging winds in excess of 60 miles per hour today. Tomorrow that chance is lower for severe storms. We're keeping an eye on it, but it doesn't look like we'll be dealing with that risk tomorrow. Sunday though it does return. So back to that marginal threat for severe weather. Again, that one out of five on the severe weather scale. The other factor we've got to consider here is even if it's not a severe thunderstorm, of course it can bring lightning. We were talking about that earlier, but it can also bring extremely heavy rain. So we've got a marginal threat for excessive rainfall that could cause flooding in our area for especially the mountains and the foothills today. The tri I'd likely to see some downpours and because it's happening during the afternoon commute, some of those downpours could have a pretty big impact on your Friday afternoon, but overall not expecting the same level of rainfall that we're expecting in those areas. Now here's a look at our rain from yesterday and I know some folks got really heavy downpours. I know at home I got a really heavy downpour, but yesterday at Greensboro at the airport, we didn't get any rain. So yesterday is dry in our record books for the official Piedmont reporting station. That means for the month of July, we're still up about three inches and for the year we're up about three inches too. So we've kind of made up that deficit that June brought us into after it was so incredibly dry. As we're looking at Burlington right now, 88 degrees feels like 97. So it's raining more, but it's still plenty hot out there. So we might need to supplement the lawns and the gardens a little bit with some hose water because of the heat. North Wilkesboro, 86 degrees feels like 93. And we're reporting in North Wilkesboro that there might be some showers and storms in the vicinity of moving into that area. We saw that on radar, those storms moving in. In Lexington, 88 degrees, winds 5 to 10 miles per hour, feels like 97. So make sure that, if, again, if kids are in the pool, they're listening for thunder and adults are watching radar, which you can do on the WXII app, by the way. Here's a look at our 19 hour forecast as we head towards 4 p.m. We get to the low 90s for our highs today. Our shower and storm chances pick up around that time, too, though. So the afternoon commute could be a little challenging with some of that water ponding on roadways. In the foothills, temperatures in the mid 80s as we head into the afternoon. Showers and storms during this time frame as well well and in the mountains we've got low 80s 60 percent chance for showers and storms at that time again our biggest impacts frequent lightning heavy rain causing isolated flooding and damaging winds these are the same impacts that we've been dealing with for the past couple of days with those storms that have moved through as we'll go looking at our hour by hour forecast this is 4 30 so that's why i'm saying even though we don't have that excessive rainfall outlook for the triad this could cause some issues for us as we head towards 5 45 pm still dealing with heavy downpours and the potential for some strong to severe storms winds in excess of 60 miles per hour a couple hours after that we get to 8 pm where most of the rain has cleared out but still some occasional rumbles of thunder possible perhaps some showers maybe even a downpour during that time and then the later we get after sunset the less likely that becomes as we head to tomorrow, a lower rain chance, and then Sunday, another high rain chance for our area. By the time this is all said and done, by Sunday evening, some spots could pick up up to two inches of rain between all of the rain chances that we have for today, tomorrow, and Sunday. Sunday, 70% of the area will see those showers and storms, but we'll also get a big drop in temperatures heading into the low 80s for the next couple of days.